You're saying that you want me to go into an abandoned ruin that may be full of ghosts. No, thank you. Fine, but you'll regret it if they burn down the city or whatever they have planned. It's not good, I tell you. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, back to Riften. I think this is the last city where I need to go to the alchemist shop. I think I've gone to all of the alchemists and... Hold there. What? Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. What's the tax for? For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? I think you're a thief. And I've got some poison with your name on it. All right, calm down. No need for that. I'll let you in right away. Just need to get the gate unlocked. Rifton looks like it's seen better days. Don't let some of the townsfolk fool you, traveler. Things are under control here. Any mention of the Thieves' Guild or other crime is being... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. The gate's unlocked. You Thank you. Head inside when you're ready. Excuse me, I need that mountain flower. Fine! If you won't listen to me, I'll find someone who will. I had another run-in with the Thieves' Guild. Be careful, Neil. There's a lot going the on The Thieves' here. Guild has Maven Blackbriar at its back. One snap of her fingers and you could end up in Riften Jail. Or worse. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore hey, them, Hey, you! Aaron. Get over here! I I'm really talk getting to tired you. of your excuses. Just when you borrow the money, you said you'd I'm pay it back on time and for that's double the usual this city fee. in a long time. I know I did. But how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quieter, and nothing would have happened to it. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Look, Shadra, last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. Hmm. What a way to make an entrance into the city. Excuse me. Huh? What do you want? Well, do you work at the stables? Yes. Hofgreer took me in when I arrived in Riften about a year ago. He's been teaching me everything he knows. Horses are my whole life. Back in Hammerfell, I helped my family raise horses at our farm. I hope to open my own stables one day. But I think it's going to take a lot longer than I expected. It probably will. I'm running into the same problem with my business. I opened an alchemist shop in, in Riverwood. And it is taking longer than I thought that it would. So I, I feel you. I know where you're coming from. So what kind of trouble are you in? I owe a great deal of money to someone, and I what? think they cheated me. Money? I don't know what to do. Tell me the details. I was able to work out a deal with the stables in Whiterun to sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. Kill you? All right, well, <coughs> let me see what I can do to help you. You will? Oh, thank you. All right. Be careful with Sapphire. She mixes with all sorts of nasty people. Okay, I appreciate it. Sir? Huh? Yeah? Are you all right? Huh? Uh, well, not really. What's wrong? Well, I was taking an evening walk like I always do, and I saw some men outside the Echo Deep Mine. The thing is, they look like mercenaries, up to no good. And what makes you say that? I've never seen them around here, and they look real tough. In addition, the Echo Deep Mines are not a place people go. 
There are myths about it. <laughs> what kind of myths? All sorts of stories. Some say it's haunted by ghosts. Some ghosts. say a wealthy bandit lord hides out in it, quietly contributing to the crime in Riften. Mm. Some people even say that deep within the mines there are Dwemer ruins, full of all sorts of automatons just waiting to slay whoever enters. So, what's the problem? On my way back from my walk, I passed the mine entrance again. I heard all sorts of horrific noises. I reckon something happened to those men. Anyone going to those mines is up to no good. Now, I've asked a guard to take a look, but they just ignore me. I need someone to see what's happened. Would you go look for me? Please, if they're planning something, the city guard needs to know. Please, go check for me. Um, you're saying that you want me to go into an abandoned ruin that may be full of ghosts. No, thank you. Fine, but you'll regret it if they burn down the city or whatever they have planned. It's not good, I tell you. All right. Have a good day, sir. Oh, uh, let me see if I can get directions to the alchemist shop. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Gentlemen, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm not sure who I want to talk to. These people look... Suspicious, sir. I'm looking for work. Who can I talk to? If you want good, honest work, talk to y'all. If you have a more criminal disposition, there's no shortage of that kind of work here. <coughs> All right. Can you tell me, Horik, you said your name was, it's Ezekiel, where's the alchemy shop? All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, then. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse huh? me. Excuse me coming through. <clears throat> There's an awful lot going on in this city. Okay, so he said basically it's underneath the... the bar. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. Elgrim's elixir. Are you all open? What time is it? Yeah, it's like an hour left. Half yog, where did you put it, woman? Ah, uh, what is it now, dear? <laughs> Goodness. Oh, don't you dear me. I had a bowl of vampire dust on my work table not an hour ago, and after you swept in there, it's gone. Oh, my. Elgrim, it's on the shelf to the right of the table, as always. Uh, I see. Well, just be careful around my things. Uh, excuse me. This place has seen better days, but it's not my fault. Sounds like you've got your hands full. I swear if I wasn't around, Elgrim would forget to eat his meals. How we make any coin at all is beyond me. In fact, I need to arrange for someone to pick up an ore sample for me in Shore's Stone. Goodness knows Elgrim won't lift a finger to do it. Well, I could get it for you. You would? Yes. Oh, that would be wonderful. <laughs> Speak to Filnyar in Shore's Stone. 
He's got some sort of ore sample he wants us to identify and was willing to pay us well for it. All right. So are you also an alchemist? I know how to mix a few basic potions, but I'm nowhere near as skilled as a master alchemist. I've picked up a few tricks by reading the tomes scattered all over the shop, but I don't have the knack to pull off half of the formulas. I wish Elgrim had spent more time tutoring me than that Ingen girl. <laughs> um, are you jealous of her? Oh, no. I didn't mean it that way. Elgrim can barely put on his own shoes, let alone have the energy to pursue a young girl. Mm. He's been gushing about how talented Ingen is at alchemy. He'd never say it to her face. That's not his way. I just think Elgrim's taken it upon himself to mentor the young thing. So he focuses a lot of attention on her. Okay, so does it bother you living underground? When Elgrim said we were setting up shop down here, I told him he would catch his death. The dirt, the moisture, it's disgusting. Who wants to spend their life living like a skeever? But you that tell old me. belly acre just fed me some nonsense about light ruining his mixtures and being close to the water. Ugh. Yeah. Be careful. The road to Shore's stone could be dangerous. All right. Thank you. Well, where'd the old man go? I should probably talk to him, too. Sir? You here for lessons like Ingen? Or did you wish to buy something? Do you work alone? Hardly. In fact, I don't know how I get anything done with all the distractions I have to put up with. My wife, half York, well, she's a necessary evil, I suppose. <laughs> Not a lick of talent when it comes to alchemy, but mm. she keeps me fed. Then there's Ingen Blackbriar, bright young thing and a worthy apprentice, when she isn't wasting my rare ingredients. Hmm. So why is your shop down here in the canal? Well, the moisture in the air is better for the ingredients. It isn't every day that you get your hands on fresh nern root or painted troll fat. It also makes it easier to gather water when the canal is right out the front door. Besides, I also prefer the quiet. I didn't open this business for browsing. Come in, buy what you need, and get out. All right, sir. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Yes, yes, goodbye. <laughs> Oh, man, he's such a character. So, Ingun, she's not here, huh? Um. Have you managed to make it out to Shore's Stone? Um, half York, I haven't even managed to walk out the door. You all are, are comedians. What, you like a, a, a comedic couple or something? Anyhow, what have you got for sale? Take a look. Oh, boy. I think this is good. All right. I will be on my way. Thank you. Be careful. The road to Shore's Stone could be dangerous. All right. I don't think I'm going to Shore Stone tonight. Let me see if I can get a room. And I also wanted to see about making a lantern. <clears throat> um, sir. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? 
Uh, you seem quite proud of your work. Smithing's been in my blood for generations. I owe my success to my forefathers and their recipe for flame. The secret is my forge. It consumes fire salts, a strange mineral that burns as hot as red mountain lava. I'm familiar with it. That's impressive. Well, it was. Sadly, this forge is dying, and I've used the last of my fire salts. If I can't feed it soon, it may grow cold. Mm. I'm gonna try to get some for you. I tell you, fire salts is sometimes hard to come by. You will? Thank you. Ten pinches of fire salt Ten. should give me all I need to bring this forge <laughs> back to life. Wow, okay. All right. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The right. forge knows the difference. Right. Um, I need to make a lantern. I don't know if you would let me do that. Let me I think I've got something to tan, too. Thirty in the evening and he's out here working sir I'm sorry I've got a I'll have to barge in here I really need to use this thank you just consider it like down payment for my helping you those fire salts. Here we go. Iron lantern. What? What is this? Oh, oh my! I could make the alchemist lantern if I had tap root. Wow. All right. Well, let me let me just go ahead and make this one. Yeah, I know. I used up one of Balaman's fire salts, but hopefully there's more where they came from. <laughs> now, let's see if I can put this on. Mm. And it works. <laughs> okay. It's nice. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Excuse me. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. All right, well, I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room right this way. I appreciate it. Wait, what's this? Cost increase. As of this month, I'm afraid we're going to have to double the cost for Black Briar Mead. As you're no doubt well aware, there is quite a bit of civil unrest occurring within Skyrim. With this unrest comes increased cost to us for shipment protection, ingredients, and labor. I think you'll find your customers more than willing to share in this burden by absorbing the cost through a price increase. I recommend you institute immediately. Failure to comply with our new cost will result in an immediate interruption of Black Briar Mead. From Maven herself. Okay, I'm sorry you were gonna show me something. Man, this light is kind of bright here. <clears throat> All right, look out, look out. <coughs> okay, you know what? Get it. Excuse me. I'll find my own damn room.
It's early. All right, let me head up to Shore Stone. Oh, I don't know you. whoa! You and Riften looking for trouble? I thought I avoided you. I'm just passing through. Yeah? Well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. And just who are these Black Briars? I assume they're the, the Meadery people. The Black Briars have rifted in their pocket, what? and the Thieves Guild watching their the back. Thieves so Guild. keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. I'll just stay out of your way. Suit yourself. I'll be at the docks if you change your mind. I don't know why you think I need dirt on people. Oh, I'm supposed to be helping you too. Well, maybe when I get back from uh, Shore Stone. Camistro. Let's check the map and see what we're up to. It's another one of those sky shards. Is this the right way? Alright, it seems to be. But how do I get past this fort? stone right here. Alright, he's dead. Where's another one? Is there another one out here? Alright, I think we took it. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Spite spider.
Alright, El Camistro. You just, uh, hang out for a while. Alright, looks like the man over here I need to talk to. Sir? I hope you haven't arrived here looking for work in the mine. Well, I'm actually here for Elgrim's ore sample. It's about time. I sent them a letter weeks ago. Okay, they're old. Ah, that Elgrim. He'd forget his own pants if his wife didn't <laughs> help him dress. <laughs> Here you go. Tell Half Yorg that she can chip off whatever she thinks is a fair trade for their time. All right. So, what's going on? What's wrong with the mine? Sure. <laughs> It's full of spiders. spiders. That's what's wrong with us. Okay. Almost killed Grogmar and me when they showed up. I'm worried that they'll come out of the mine looking for food soon. Then we're in even bigger trouble. The town guards can't help you? Yeah, they're as useless as a fifth wheel on a wagon. <laughs> Gave me some sort of line about keeping an eye out for enemy soldiers. Mm -hmm. What's the point in protecting this place if the mine's completely useless? Idiots. All right, well, I'll clear them out for you. Tell you what. Keep to your word, and I'll line your pockets with as much as I can scrape up. That's what I was hoping to hear. Tell me about the mine. Red Belly Mine gets its name from the red mist filling the place. You get used to it after a while. Kind of smells like the hot springs out in the tundra. No idea what's causing it, though. Tell me about the spiders infesting the mine. Moved right in and made themselves at home. Did it overnight. I'm not even sure exactly where they came from. No one's been hurt yet. And they seem to be staying in the mine. But who knows how long that will last. If we can't get back into the mine, our town is sunk. Mm. So what's so special about this ore? Red Belly is supposed to be nothing but an iron mine. Been working it for years. Then, right before the spiders had moved in, we found that chunk of ore. Never seen anything like it. I want to know what I'm dealing with before I start tearing it out of the ground. All right, then. I appreciate it. I don't want it. to be responsible for sending you to your death. Be careful in the mine. Shouldn't you be saying that to the spiders? Okay. Let's, uh, saw these flowers over here. Kidding out myself. Where is the entrance to the mine? And let me see here. I think it's back this way. I got this lantern. It looks like it's going to come in handy. Good morning. I hear there's some problems in the mine. Let me go take care of it. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a spider. that one. What the? It's a good thing that my red god blood gives me like 75% immunity to poison. There's still more. What does this spider silk do anyway? Damage stamina.
from here. Well, there's no way anybody could work in a mine filled with spiders that size. Look at this. Well, look, look, they get bigger as you go down to the bottom. get some of this iron ore while I'm here. Oh, it's good to be back out in the sunlight. That mist, whatever that is, that needs to be investigated. Hopefully this ore sample will tell uh, El Elgrim what's going on. All right, Philnar. Nasty little buggers, aren't they? They sure were, but the mine has been cleared. Gone? Every one of them? Yup. Why? That's incredible. Mm. Finally, we can reopen the mine and put Shore's stone back on the map. Here, please accept this gift as a token of our gratitude. A thousand? Go! Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. I really appreciate that. Keep safe. All right. Oh, that's a good thing I did this. Although, I'm not hurting so much for money right now, but it certainly would be helpful. Okay. All I'm um, asking is that you clean. Let's go ahead and let me pray. How you find anything in your half of the place is beyond me. Okay, my favor is really going up. Look at these things that he's offering. Xenathar. A corpse explosion. Violently releases the soul of a corpse, disintegrating it with a magical explosion. Wow, that's cool if I was into that kind of stuff. I'd rather spend more time in the mine hauling up iron than doing woman's work keeping the house clean. What are these two <laughs> arguing about? Alright, let me pick these flowers. And then it's time for me to get back to Riften.
vegetable as crisp as a winter's morning. Genuine Balmer blood elixir for sale. Live for that. I'm kind of busy, but if you need any potions or ingredients, let me know. All right. Half Yorg. Have you managed to make it out to Shore's Stone? Yes, I have, and I brought the ore sample from Filna. Thank you. I'll be sure to get Elgrim to examine this as soon as his <clears throat> busy schedule allows. Here. I had him make you a few things for all that travel. Oh, really? Oh, I appreciate it. Okay. Well, you have a good day. You take care of yourself now. Elgrim, honey. I'm concerned about your new pupil. She seems very odd. Hello. Ingen? She's are you brilliant. Are you the famous Ingen? Hmm? Oh, dear, Sorry. Just thinking right. about my experiments. It's the things she makes here. The wow. things she says and all those um, poor Are you an alchemist? I'm aspiring to earn that title, yes. However, the road ahead is paved with loose cobbles and deadly pitfalls. Master Elgrim says I'm a natural, that I have a unique talent. But I fear his approval masks his intolerance for my mistakes. My errant formulas have cost Master Elgrim a fortune in ingredients, some of which are almost irreplaceable. And what sort of ingredients do you need? To restore Master Elgrim's supply, I would need 20 Death Bell, 20, 20 Nightshade, and 20 Nernroot. Am I sensing that you may be interested in gathering <laughs> these rare ingredients for me? Well, I mean, I need them for me, but, uh, sure. I mean, you know, we're all in this together as alchemists. I'll get them. That means more time for my experiments and less time in the field. Much appreciated. Okay, so can you tell me why you're so fascinated by alchemy? It's exhilarating to observe the effects of my potions on the body. Watching the heart stop, the eyes go blind. We're made up of thousands of parts with thousands of different functions all working in tandem to keep us alive. Yet if only a single part of our imperfect machine fails, life fails. It makes one realize how fragile how flawed we are. You ask why I'm so fascinated? The irony, the irony that the same world that gave us life provides us the means to die. Hmm. Well, I happen to have some death, death bell in my backpack. Good. My experiments are at a critical stage, and these are just what I need to finish. Here's some coin for all the trouble. All right, appreciate it. You know, I could use those death bell for myself, but all right. And here's some nightshade for you. Perfect. This is just what I needed. Here's some gold for your time. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, I don't know. Do you have some secret stash where I can find these ingredients? Nernroot like the is the root? easiest. Is it? It grows only by the water and makes a unique chiming noise. The only drawback is it won't regrow after harvesting. Oh, well, that's not Nightshade true Nightshade is native to the pine forest and marshy tundra regions of Skyrim, and has a distinctive starburst-like violet flower. Last, we have Deathbell, which only grows in marshy tundra terrain. Its inverted bluish-purple flower bunches are unmistakable. Yeah, that's funny. You say Nernroot is the easiest, but that's, it's actually the rarest and the most difficult to find. Because you see, I had the, the extra ingredients there with the, the death bell and the nightshade. But anyhow, you have a great day. My experiments can't be completed until you've brought me those ingredients. Do hurry. Don't rush me, I already bought you two sets of ingredients. Good day.